Hello, this is just a quick tutorial on how to use the Pokemon TCGO code checker. Uh, this is just a simple Python script. It only requires a few manual steps to set up. If you already have Python installed, uh, then great, you can run it immediately. Otherwise, uh, you'll want to visit the link in the instructions on how to download it. Uh, typically, it'll only be Windows users who needs this. Um, but yeah, it, this came about uh, as just a need to check if uh, a large stack of codes were valid or not. Um, so I would typically buy large bulk lots of cards from my own collection. They would have a lot of code cards mixed in them. I usually would sell or trade those for cards I wanted, uh, but I didn't know if they were valid. And when you had 100 plus cards, it got tedious entering one at a time to check to see if they were valid or you know what they actually redeemed. Um, so I had wrote this tool instead. Uh, I usually get my list of code cards by using the Polka Collector app on my Android phone to scan the code cards. Uh, and then I could just copy paste the list of codes from the email uh, into, into the script. Um, so I'll just do a quick rundown of how to run it. Uh, so you'll want to go to the main page and download it as a zip. Um, you can then extract that zip wherever you want. So in this case, I'm just going to extract it here. And there we go. So uh, there's two files you're concerned about. The first one is codes.txt. In this case, you just care about uh, a list of codes. So this is where you would paste your list of codes. Uh, it's one code per line. It doesn't matter if it's dashes or not. So valid for this example, I'm just going to put in dummy things since I don't want to post my codes. Um, the second file you care about is the settings.ini. This is what contains your session ID. Now, when you log into your Pokemon Trainer Club account, you're given a session ID. When you go to the enter codes page, you will have a, uh, a Google I'm not a robot uh, verifier. Now, enter codes. Um, now there's a step you have to do before your session ID is uh, flagged as being allowed to check codes. Uh, you have to click the I'm not a robot to confirm you are indeed not a robot. And you have to just submit anything. Um, this is what completes the verification process. So I'm just going to submit some bum code. See, it's an invalid code. Great. Uh, if you don't do this, then you'll typically get errors like this, like credentials were not provided, Google validation not complete. So if you ever get any validation error, it means you didn't submit a code through the browser. Uh, now, if we press F12, we can get into the dev tools um, and we'll want to go to application, cookies, select pokemon.com. And now we should be able to find a main session ID. This is the key that's associated with this existing uh, Pokemon TCG O session. Um, and it's what we need to submit with our requests uh, for them to accept them. So we're going to paste that into the session ID field and hit save. Now it is good to note that um, I guess to prevent DDoS, uh, they only allow around 500 requests per 24 hour period. Uh, if you hit your limit, they let you know. You'll start seeing responses like uh, request maximum reached timeout of x seconds where like that's how many seconds before you can make another request uh if that happens either just wait till the next day or if you have multiple accounts you can just log in on them repeat this process uh, and continue um, so now that i've got uh, a session id you saw i have some bump codes and i run the pokemon code checker you can see it's attempting to validate and saying that they were all bad. Um, it'll export it into this text file, which contains a CSV. So every single code, whether it was valid or invalid, will enter here one per line. The first column is gonna be true or false, whether or not it's valid. So if it was a valid unredeemed code, it would say true. The second is the code itself. And the third is either the error message or uh, what it redeems. Now, what it redeems is the text that you would see if you were redeeming it inside the PTCGO app. Um, for example, the Tapabulu code 
redeems the Abundant Fury deck. So if you were to put a Tapu Bula code in, this would say true, a Tapu Bula code, and then Abundant Fury. So it's up to you to know uh, what it is if you're looking to sell or trade your code cards. Um, and you can actually see I have a screenshot of an example here with the code cards shout out. This is what the export normally looks like. And then this gets converted to a CSV. Now you could take that CSV, paste it into a Google Doc or, or your own spreadsheet and just split on the commas to get your lists um, and then sort out. It makes it really easy to email codes. It makes it really easy to uh, to sell them or trade them. Um, so yeah, let me know how you like it.